Hello everyone and welcome to the Level Start Podcast, part of the Play Legit Network, your only source for gaming and real talk. I'm your host, T42. Here we are yet again, another week full of news. We're going to get right into it. Last week I talked about Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. I did not have a trailer for you, but I really wanted to get a trailer to you guys. I think this game looks awesome. Let's enjoy this trailer for Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Enjoy. Since the earliest of civilizations, we have made much progress, but that progress came with a cost. Our world has changed. And despite our advances in both science and technology, we can no longer deny what is clear. Our time on Earth is ending. So we turn our gaze upward to the stars and embark on the greatest journey in human history. A journey into the unknown to discover a new world, a new home. A new beginning for mankind. That trailer looked really awesome. It's very movie-esque in quality. Um, Looks like one of those kind of things that I really would like to go to the theater to see. But I'm also looking forward to this game coming out. And it's very appropriate that they're going in this direction with the game series. Honestly, there's really nothing left for them to do on Earth with their Civilization series. So definitely going beyond Earth, very appropriate naming, uh, is, is a good choice. Moving right along, though, to more news sony is selling its square enix stock sony has sold all of its 9.52 million square enix shares to smbc nico securities not too long ago there was an era where playing square enix or squaresoft game pretty much meant buying sony gaming hardware i'm reading this off of the escapist website in fact, the original PlayStation was arguably a JRPG behemoth thanks to no small part Square Enix numerous uh, quality releases for the system. This is very true. I think a lot of times when I think of Square, I think of Sony because of that. Now, I know that their games didn't start on on Sony's platforms. I know that you know the you guys know this, you know the Final Fantasy games were on Nintendo. Um, so yeah, this is definitely interesting. I'm kind of curious to know what their full reasoning is. A lot of the speculation is probably because they want to go to more uh, higher profit margins, keep things tighter, cut, you know, they had their cut of their 5,000 jobs earlier um, the year from both the U.S. and Tokyo offices. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting that Sony's, Sony's doing this. I'm uh, kind of interested. More news on... Sony, uh, SOE for that matter, is putting out a new MMO on um, zombies, essentially. It looks a lot, in my opinion, like DayZ does. If you look at how they're kind of doing it, it's very similar to DayZ. Although DayZ is a little clunky, uh, no offense to those guys, 
but you, when you look at the the gameplay, the the mechanics can be a little bit clunky. Response times seem to be sometimes a little bit delayed. Um, from my experiences with the Arma Daisy kind of stuff. Now I love those games. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy playing them. Yeah, I kind of want to know what you guys think about this. It's coming out from H1Z1. The uh, game definitely has. There's a live stream you can go look on twitch.tv slash h1z1 of this. Let us know what you guys think about this game that is coming out. We've had a lot of people ask us for more indie stuff, so let's talk about some indie games. Ah, but before we do, before we talk about indie games, I think we also need to talk about one other thing regarding Square Enix which Square Enix has come out and said DRM is here to stay, at least for the long run, right now. Um, DRM may be the bane of your existence, but don't expect it to go away anytime soon. This was a message that was delivered by the Square Enix America Senior Manager of Business and Legal Affairs, Adam Sullivan. Apparently they think that DRM is going to be more important because of sales and helping with their profits, and not so much necessarily piracy, but to keep control of certain things. It's kind of weird how it sounds. I think there's ways that we can resolve DRM problems and solutions. I think the Steam market is definitely a example of this. Not to say that people still don't pirate stuff, because obviously they do. Game of Thrones is one of the most pirated, is the most pirated television show ever. It's the most, I think, most pirated anything ever. It's just crazy. And the fact that that still happens, I mean, it, it kind of tells you just how well some of the Steam market is doing. Even some of the new online stores of the consoles are starting to do better with the way that they're managing things, with the way they're getting to the public more. I'm kind of curious about this. But, yeah, so Square Enix says DRM's here to stay. What do you guys think about it? Do you think that DRM should be a viable thing that needs to stay in place, or do you think there's another solution? Let us know in the comments, guys. Moving on from that, going on to the indie games, which is kind of, you know, indie games tend to not be DRM-associated either, more or less. So, we got an indie game coming out that looks pretty fantastic it is called hover and it is uh, on a kickstarter there's a kickstarter thing for it we have a trailer for you guys this is definitely a a crossover between jet set and um mirror's edge wow that just escaped my mind for a second it's right here in front of me uh mirror's edge and jet set it's a it's a really cool crossover between those two check this trailer out for hover
I guess you guys can now see why I say it's look like a crossover between Jet Set and Mirror's Edge. It is so freaking cool looking, and I'm really looking forward to trying it out. What do you guys think? Do you guys like that one? I I definitely think that if I get it, I might do some live streaming over at Play Legit's Twitch page. Yes, sirree. More on the indie news. There's uh, a lot of indie games that are in development, and more and more as the days go on, continue to happen because so many people are now getting their hands on the tools and are able to use it, and it's becoming easier and easier to do. And a lot of fun games are coming out of it. And there's one that's coming out that definitely reminds me of my childhood. And I think they have captured kind of that essence of playing video games uh, as a kid. And that is Heartforth Alicia. We have a trailer for you on this one as well. This was a pretty trailer-filled uh, episode today. But I think, I think you guys will really appreciate the trailer that we have for you guys on Heartforth Alicia. So, enjoy. There's an island in the sky named Oster, and on it lies a village of wizards named Brynir. Many years ago, the wizards took the power of the island for themselves, and so the spirit of flight cursed them never to have children again. Today begins the trial of the last two wizards of the bloodline, Alicia and Hustra, but the coming of age ceremony has stopped. One of the wizards has been killed by the spirit. The children run away, but the spirit takes a hold of Hustra and uses him to throw Alicia off the edge of the island. But this is not how Alicia's story ends. It begins with a fire. <laughs> This is all yet to happen. Alicia has not been here still. She hasn't seen the sunsets of the Oren Desert, or the rivers trickling down the hills of Beryllion. She hasn't yet fallen down the waterfall, and it is still midday back home. Perhaps Hustra turned around and asked her something, but she doesn't reply. That game definitely looks really beautiful. I, I'm really excited for these guys with their game. I know they're trying to raise about $60,000 over on Kickstarter right now to continue pushing it out. Um, it's been in development for quite a while. So they're trying to really get it pushed forward. And uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, go go you guys. I, I hope you <laughs> So Assassin's Creed does not need to come out like every single year. It's totally ridiculous and basically they're breaking the bank. They just want to roll in the dollars. Assassin's Creed used to be this like original awesome title. They came up with all kinds of stuff. Remember the original? You could like crawl on the side of the wall and jump into a hay mail from a million feet high. But that's getting old. We're totally over it. We need something new and original. We want a whole new title, not just a rehashed Assassin's Creed with some new stuff in it. 
Ubisoft has even said that basically they're going to keep coming out with one every year as long as we keep buying them. So maybe it's the people's fault. Maybe we need to stop buying these rehashed titles. I mean, I love Assassin's Creed just as much as the next hardcore gamer. But there's a point where it has to stop. We are uh, going to be pushing out some really cool stuff as the days go on. Keep coming back to our website. We have some stuff over at playlegit.net. Great reviews. We have top tens on our PS3 games that we really liked. It's our top ten list. We also have our top ten for Wii games. We have tons of reviews, tons of videos. Moe's got a really cool, awesome video on his top five movies from the 90s. Go check that out. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Pretty much things are rolling right along. Uh, check us out at playlegit.net. We're at playlegit on Twitter. We're on Facebook, playlegit network, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Get involved in the community. community. Hashtag level start for those discussions. Hashtag at playlegit for all things playlegit. You guys know where to find us. You guys see me here every week. Enjoy. Take it easy. Keep on jam gaming. Jamming. Gaming. You know. Whatever. Stay legit, guys. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.